Hi! So good to see you guys. I wanted to share a quick box opening of a sold out limited edition kit. I have always adored and so pretty excited about it. So let's get started. Here is our package. Can you see it here? Um, I'm just gonna hold it up, you know, because I'm not on a tripod. Well, obviously I'm not on a tripod. Um, there goes my dog. <laughs> um, I'm not on a tripod. My phone isn't on a tripod is what I meant to say. So it's just kind of up on a shelf. Oh, so I will show you the pieces as they come. How about that? Um, this is a kit I think is so adorable, and it's one of those kits um, that has an expressive face. So those are always my favorite, um, but the interesting thing is they can either come out strange or maybe poorly done, um, or they can come out beautiful. I find that kids that are very expressive or have a lot of um, even expressiveness in the sculpting, like really deep wrinkles or expressive features, you know, anywhere have to be, in my experience, what I've learned, they have to be kind of downplayed a little bit with the painting, meaning lighter painting. Now I struggle with this. I'm what I call a heavy handed painter by instinct. I really, I really seem to gravitate towards uh, deep painting, really rich colors, um, you know, um, really, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, I didn't know what I'm trying to say. Um, I was gonna say, well, just really intense painting, I guess, you know? Um, I like them to be as realistic as possible, but I really like, um, you know, I guess heavy painting. So of course that is my natural tendency to paint like that. I have been holding back a little bit. I think with anything in life, you learn less is more, right? We kind of all have figured that out in some way or another. And with painting reborn dolls, it's even more so sometimes. And I've been learning that as I go. Um, so sometimes I have to stop myself because I'll keep going and keep going and get really excited about how it's turning out. And then I, so now I'm making myself kind of sit back and, and take a break, maybe a day or so, and keep looking at the kit that I've painted, taking it in different lighting um, to really gauge how much further I should go. Because I will go really far. I mean, we're talking, you know, I can go 30 or more layers. Um, <laughs> in the reborn community I'm like I'm done I'm like over painting I'm over collecting I I need to stop getting kits I need to stop this I need to stop that and I'm not stopping like I did for a while and then I got excited about it again oh my gosh okay um <laughs> that's my favorite version right there um okay so this is an Olga our kit <laughs> oh my gosh, vinyl is so hard. Um, it's totally workable. Actually, well, I was gonna say it's similar to the Fred Elf that I'm working on, um, which is a little firmer of a, of a vinyl, but this one is like a very old kit, so the vinyl is really hard, you know, and you have to, I don't know, it's kind of interesting to paint that vinyl. Um, but let me show you the hands and feet. I hope this is interesting to people who are collectors because I know blank vinyl, sometimes it's like, okay, you know, why are you showing me a blank kit? But I don't know, as, as artists, we get excited about this stuff. We're kind of goofy that way. Oh, the hands. You know what? The head is hard. The hands and the feet are very soft, you 
know? So, oh my gosh, so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so this is, gosh, when did this kit come out? I'm gonna have to look, but I'm gonna say, <clears throat> I want, I want to guess like 2013 or something, maybe, or maybe not that long ago. It's one of her, oh, one of her prior, um, her prior sculpts, but can you see like the details? So see what I'm saying? See how wrinkly her hand is? So naturally as artists, when we see a crease, when we see a crevice, we are playing that baby up. We are going to highlight it. We're going to color it. We're going to, you know, shade it out. But when you have a lot of wrinkles like this, it's best to be really, really mild with your shading, in my opinion, just from what I've learned. And I learned this because I remember one of the very first kits I ever painted had really deep um, brow wrinkles, like furrowed brow, or you know, like the forehead wrinkles. And I, you know, painted them with my deep red creasing color. And I did not like the result, and it was really hard to take it off. And then here's the feet. Um, cute, cute, cute. And here's the face. So I would love to introduce to you Miss, poor Mister, but I think it's Miss Millie Doodle. So this is Millie by Olga Hour, and it's a limited edition. Let's see. So this is 754 out of 1,010 that were made. So there we go, you see that? Okay, this one right here is my favorite rendition of this kit. Um, it's just like the most adorable baby ever to exist in my opinion. Um, so, hey, I know it doesn't look like much when it's blank, especially for a collector. It's funny, I'm trying to think, like back when I was, new to this hobby before I started painting, would I have gotten excited about a video of a blank kit? Probably not, but you know, I think it's fun to see this stuff though, right? Like to see how your dolls come out before they're painted. It's just like, wow, you know, that's what it came as. A lot of work goes into it, folks. Um, good, no smell, that's, that's what I'm going for. Um, and she came with a body, which is great. I don't even think the listing said that. So I think she threw that in and a cute diaper. Um, I got this on eBay. Uh, I'm very leery of buying on eBay. You know, I think we guys, we know that you guys, like eBay is not the place to go anymore. But I will tell you, there's some reputable artists there um, and some great finds for sold out limited edition kits. You just have to really do your research. Um, I always like to message sellers if I can, um, or if I think about it, to kind of gauge the way they communicate and get a sense of their personality and intentions a little bit, even if I don't necessarily have questions that would determine if I buy it or not. Um, but anyway, that worked out really well. So I am going to pause this video. I'm gonna go run and give them feedback on eBay before I forget. And I'm gonna grab the other box that came. I'm so excited about this one. And this isn't anything sold out limited edition or it's very popular right now. So um, you've probably seen a million of them, but I'm gonna show you anyway. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so um, I went ahead and opened this. And before I show you what it is, you guys, one thing you should know about me is I tend to gravitate away from what is popular in anything. Like if someone's talking about a TV series and everyone's freaking out over it, I don't even watch it because I'm like, ah, oh, you know, it's just, I don't know, I, I, I tend to resist the mainstream. And same thing with Reborn Kids, like I don't want to get the sculpt everyone gets her, you know, like I have a Lulu, I had an April, and I really didn't want to go for them, but I ended up falling in love and then I didn't care. Cause I'm like, I don't care, Lulu's like one of the most sought after kits ever, I love it. So um, this is kind of that, it's a blank kit. Um, very, very popular right now. A lot of talk about this kit, everyone's ooing and aahing over it. 
it's phenomenal. I knew it was a phenomenal sculpt, but I kind of resisted the temptation to be a part of it because I just thought, well, everyone's gonna have one, everyone's gonna like it. I like, you know, I showed you Millie a minute ago. I like those odd or sold out sculpts that are really rare or that maybe weren't as popular. I tend to gravitate towards, but I gave in y'all, so forgive me. Um, so this is from McPherson's. They actually added a few goodies. Um, <laughs> Honeybug pacifier, that's super cute. Thank you, McPherson's. They are my favorite supplier. And you know, I thought about totaling how much I've spent there and I'm so scared to do it. It's probably really bad. Uh, ah, little hairbrush for the babes. So we're gonna have to do rooted hair. Now my plan is to sell this at some point. I'm probably gonna start it soon. I have a million kits I need to do, but, um, oh, birth certificate, that's really cute. I have one of these I haven't sent out with one of my completed babies yet, but I, I've been saving it for like a special one and I'm like, well, they're all special to somebody. Um, but these are really cute. I, I like that birth certificate. Um, oh wow, yeah, very, very pretty. So, I'm excited. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, it's Laura. You probably guessed it. Look at that. I mean, it was very difficult to resist. Um, because looking at the face, it's just, it looks like a dream to paint, you know? And I think no matter what level an artist is, their rendition is going to be beautiful, you know? It look, it's an artist's dream, this canvas. And you can be new, or you can be... Oh, there's, I hate when there's like little things on the um, vinyl, because sometimes they like, you know, like little particles, sometimes they like sink in and you can't get them off. Okay legs and you know something cool about these legs is look at the um well for lack of a better term bumpiness um, it doesn't sound flattering but no it is like look at the realistic sculpting where it's not completely smooth it's you know like real body you know, like we have lumps and curves. See, I just love that. Um, I think sculptors who know to smooth out their clay to an extent but not go too far is someone who knows what painters want. And then look at this detailing here. That's really cool. Um, yeah, just amazing. That one's harder to see. Um, cause my lighting is coming from another direction. There we go. See that? That's really cool. Those are the little leggies. And the hands, the hands did it for me. And I'm sure you've seen 75 other videos where artists or collectors who have this blank kit now probably said the hands did it for them. <laughs> so you're hearing it again, but hands are my thing, man. All oh, these fingers. Look at those. Jeez. You know what I love hands so much I think I really would want to do is to buy a clay version of the hand from the Adams Family and just keep it on my desk because I love hands so much. Anyway, so here are the arms. Oh my god, look at that hand. Oh, it's like she's just went to sleep or about to wake up, you know? And so her hands aren't, like this one's more relaxed, but this one's kind of like either fighting off sleeping, a deep sleep, or just went into a sleep and she's getting to the point where her fingers will finally relax when she gets into that deep sleep. I love it. I love it. Yeah, so here she is. And the COA, I got the open edition. Um, so she's not like the special numbered edition, but I don't care. 
I, I care a lot about editions when it's one edition and it's limited. I do fall into that. Like I get obsessed with sold out limited editions, but if it's like first edition versus second, I'm not as excited about it. I mean, some people are. Like I have a first edition Chase by Bonnie Brown and I don't really care if he's first edition. I mean, I don't know. And I wouldn't sell him if I sell him, which I've been thinking about. Uh, he's a peaky eye chase. He has a little bit of open eyes. Um, anyway, I would not sell him for more because he's a first edition. Okay, so now if I can achieve that, I'll pass out. I'll just literally, like, I'll be dead. Um, yeah, so anyway, there we go. I didn't expect that. I just saw the delivery guy and I was like, uh-oh, that's my package. And in true McPherson's amazing form, it came a day early. Like their shipping is crazy fast. Like when you place an order, I've placed an order sometimes like in the evening, like kind of late in the evening and they fulfill my order. Um, they, they're just amazing. I feel like they work around the clock and they're just really responsive. Um, I'm excited guys. So I have Millie and I have Laura and uh, 66,000 other kits to paint. Yay! Um, I have a lot of kits, but you know what? I'm not gonna, they always seem to overwhelm me just knowing how many I have, but I'm not gonna let it overwhelm me anymore because I want to take this hobby as far as I can and not get burned out on painting. And so I want to think to myself like, hey, you have, um, you know, years to get these done. And at least you have, you know, um, an inventory of kits to do. And hopefully I won't buy anymore because damn, I <laughs> have too many. And I work a lot slower than I used to. A year ago, I was pumping them out once a week sometimes twice a week now I just I just do it as, as a enjoyment as a hobby I don't want it to stress me out well my phone shut up because I'm out of storage so anyway bye thanks for watching please subscribe so you can hang out with me check out the dolls I paint dolls in my collection chit chat and have fun thanks so much bye